up yet. I would miss forks. I would miss the cool weather and my brooding vampire boyfriend. But Charlie didn't approve of Edward. Bella. Sorry. I was in her monologuing again. Dad, I don't, I don't want to leave forks. Bella. I would be a horrible father if I let you marry a hundred-year-old vampire. <laughs> but Edward and I have this love, Dad, and you're taking that from me! <laughs> Bells, I... <laughs> Look, we're gonna go and move and get a new fresh start. And wherever we go is not gonna have violent, dark, broody men prowling the streets every day. <laughs> Twenty <laughs> twenty two, dear diary, I have to keep pushing. The city needs a hero. I can't be everywhere though, but I can try. I've been working with Alfred on making little tiny clone versions of myself. I'm thinking they will be small little cute bad boys that speak in a funny language. I love the minions. I love the minions. They are so cute and funny. And for that day, when I have little bad minions, I work alone. I will do anything to redeem Gotham. There's no room in my life for anything else. Good evening, uh, Master Bruce. You're up to not, I presume? Yes, very much so. You got the white makeup wipes I requested. Which you did, correct? <laughs> <laughs> Paper, it appears that a new villain has been leaving cryptic notes and messages on people's doorsteps. What's so wrong with that? Well, each message accompanies a dead body. <laughs> he calls himself the Riddler and he's just struck again, targeting a new young lady from out of town. I'll look into it. As you should. And speaking of young ladies, have you asked anyone to the Gotham Winter Ball yet? <laughs> Alfred, you know better than anyone that there's no room in my heart for love. Only for darkness. <laughs> well, so, like, who would I ask anyway? I don't have any good options. Well, that cat woman young lady seems to be quite taken with you. Yeah, well, like, I don't know, like, things are, like, kind of complicated with her right now. I don't know how, like, compatible we are in the long run, you know. <laughs> well, I hope you find someone soon, Master Bruce. I won't be around forever, and it could get awful lonely being alone, and... So, if I would know. Is when I was in Burma. Oh, oh, what's wrong with these wipes? They're hurting my eyes. Oh. It appears that on closer inspection, they are the off-brand wipes. Why do people make such low-quality wipes, Alfred? Some people just want to watch the eyes burn. <laughs> Here, Riddler left us another note. What's black and white and green all over? It's someone who's dying to go to a spring fling. What does that mean? Spring fling, green all over? Doesn't make any sense. Kind of cute. It's found on this dead body. <laughs> I have to catch this guy. Maybe I can help. I was the chief of police in Forks, Washington. So. Well, we'd be happy to have you. Dad, have you seen my... Ow! 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 Ow!
What? <laughs> you are so good with riddles. How did you figure that out? No, don't, don't talk to my daughter. <laughs> Nobody talk to my daughter. <laughs> Bella. myself watching her moodily from a distance. I didn't know how dominant that part was. That thought he was a bat. And she was so good at decoding riddles. Maybe I could lead her on for a while and then abandon her while she drives away on a motorcycle. I was undeniably drawn to him. You're drawn to me? You can read my inner monologue? Yeah, you think so a lot, it hurts my head. <laughs> Maybe your ex-boyfriend just wasn't listening. Oh. <laughs> Listen, Bella. I've been thinking, and I was thinking that maybe with uh, I was thinking that maybe with uh, Listen, this Riddler guy, he's, gonna, he's not going to stop till he's terrorized every single citizen in Gotham. And you're really good with riddles. Maybe you could help me figure out his plan, you know? And, I don't know, maybe we could, like, go to the uh, Spring Flame together, you know? Uh, like, just for Gotham, right? You're, you're, like, asking me to dance? Yeah, but, like, platonically. <laughs> for Gotham. Then, oh, yeah, of course. Oh, go. For Gotham. <laughs> Criminals are on the loose. Watch out. Anyway, uh, we're going to go with a friend of mine. Um, her name is Catwoman. I think she might have some information on the real one. Well, 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 look what the cat dragged in. Hello, Catwoman. <laughs> Catwoman, so like, you have cat powers? Sure, kitten. Just depends on your definition of superpowers. I've got a charming personality. Isn't that right, Batman? We didn't even tell on the Riddler. He's pursuing a date for the Gotham City Ball, and rumor has it he's not the only one. Do you have a date, Batman? I don't have time for dates. Only for justice. <laughs> the bats and cats make for such a good team. Come on, Batman, we have history together. I can't be the only one feline this connection. I'm positive we're perfect for each other. Just ask me out. <laughs> Stop cat calling me. <laughs> but something about cat will rub me the wrong way. <laughs> or the way she gave herself a nickname. One thing is for sure. I didn't like the way she talked to Batman. Is this how Edward felt about Jacob? Long well, triangles. Isn't that amusing? Batman and I love love triangles. I don't even like regular triangles. <laughs> How am I a part of this too? <laughs> Excuse me? You're looking for the Riddler? There's no better place to find a single psychopath than the greatest party spot in all of Gotham City. I know where that is. Club Penguin. <laughs>
other, treat each other with respect. Oh, and if you're friends with the Batman, we kill you on the spot. Yeah. Oh no, we gotta blend in. We gotta hide our identities. Do, do you think you can take your mask off? No, the mask stays on for Club Penguin. <laughs> Mistake, like imprint on your unborn vampire baby or something. Wow, that's kind of hot. He could really whisker me off my feet. Thanks. Oh, Batman, sorry, I, your car's not done. The Riddler said that if I worked on it, he would detonate this bomb. <laughs> so. Wait a second. There's a riddle on this bomb. <laughs> Gotham Springfield? Because, like, Bella, I mean, if you're not going with anyone, <laughs> you'd be like, go with me if you want to. Jacob! I literally just said I was gonna go with the Riddler! <laughs> hey, Catwoman, I mean, if you want it, like, the, the Gotham Spring Fling, like, you could, like, go with me if you want. I'm sorry, I can't. Because I'm in love with someone else. <laughs> Join the club. <laughs> There's like a 25% chance I can defuse the bomb off of that guy's muscles. <laughs> you just have to go to the dance with me. Listen, no, you want to- No, Ben, I already made up my mind! Fine. I hope the Riddler treats you with as much as respect as I do. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> Do you care what I think? No. 
And besides, I have a little love bomb strapped to your wolf friend. And here's a detonator, so let's go. I have to go with the Riddler. The letter was to go with the Riddler. It's so funny. But I have not that anything special. It's more than 100% unique any other relationship I've ever had. I just hope that I haven't pushed him away. Anymore. What you say. I mean, tell me you love me or Wolfie gets it. You can't control me, okay? I won't ever love you. I predicted you might say that. Huh? Well, if your wolf friend isn't enough motivation, what about everyone you've ever cared about? I strap bombs on everyone in here. <laughs> <laughs> what the beat? <laughs> Wait, that's kind of hot. Riddler, catch me. Oh, I'm I'm my love is for Bella. I'm sorry. Get out. <laughs> so, Bella, see? No. My heart is in it. Can't you? No. Fine. Well, you know what? Let's, let's end with a... Let's have blow it up. Yeah, okay. Say goodbye to everyone you ever loved. much about you as I do, so I'll let you have it. Time alone. Bella. Bella <laughs> you have to be a force. So we can go back to the way things work. Edward, I can't go back with you. You have to let me go, okay? I can't. Yes. I, can't. <laughs> I can't go back to Forks and back to the way things were. Whatever. There's no one else for you to love here, Edward. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. I would have 
have to kill your parents on the way home from the opera and then leave you with billions of dollars and lots of unresolved trauma. No, no. No, I'm, I'm not going to do it. It's a hypothetical. So what happened to me, okay? Just, let's just, let's just see where things go. Okay. I liked it. decided I am making a difference. This city needs me. Also, while I'm super stoked about the Bat Minions idea, I've realized for the time being, I don't need tiny little friends. I've already got a tiny little friend. Her name is Bella, and she's right beside me. Do I miss Forks? Yes. Do I miss the simple life? Yes. Does my dad equally not approve of this relationship as my last one? Yes. This is my spider monkey. I'm gonna hold on tight. I'm not a spider monkey, I'm a bat. Whatever you say, spider monkey. 